What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Oh, I need to keep back here so that the glare from my light ring doesn't come in. There are so many rules that we curlies are supposed to follow and I don't follow most of them. But I probably should. In this video, I am going to list all of the curly commandments that I myself do not follow and tell you the ones that I do follow and which ones I think I should follow and which ones I think don't really make a difference. So before we get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all of that, share this video. I want more and more and more of you to be watching my videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first rule that I don't follow is I do not have a silk scarf. I had a silk lined bonnet for a while, but that just didn't work for me. Um, I have a scarf that's just kind of like a nice, smooth material. It's not like a bandana or anything like that, but it's not a silk scarf. I've learned that silk scarves kind of just slide off my head. Um, however, I do sleep on a silk pillowcase because I typically pineapple my hair. So my hair is typically up like this. And then I wrap my scarf around here and I become a human pineapple. Um, and so I sleep with the silk with the silk pillowcase because my hair is typically just draped over it. So that kind of combats that. I don't think I personally need a silk scarf. I don't want a silk scarf. I'm cool with what I have. The second rule that I do not follow is I do not rinse my conditioner out with cold water. I know I should be ashamed of myself, but here's my reasoning for that. So I typically do everything in the shower. I shampoo, condition, wash my body, all that in the shower. And I kind of just all do it at once. And I do not like cold water in my shower, like at all. I like scalding hot showers. So I'll try and like turn down the heat, but it's typically still hot water. And my hairstylist, Genofia, will, she tells me all the time to rinse my hair with cold water. My mom tells me it. I know it. I just don't, I don't, I don't do it. And I really feel like I should. I really feel like I should be rinsing my hair with cold water. With shampoo, rinse it out with warm water. But with conditioners, cold water. And the reason why you want to rinse out with cold water is because the cold water will seal in all of the moisture and all of the nutrients that you put into it when you use the conditioner. If you do hot water, hot water opens the cuticle and just allows all of that stuff to flow out. And it's rather pointless. But I always end up putting other stuff in my hair after the fact. So I kind of think it balances out for me at least. I mean, I'm doing something right, you know? The third thing that I don't do, which I do it, but I don't do it all the time, is the lock method. That is leave-in oil cream. I often don't remember to do it, but I often don't have oil like ready and on hand. When I do have oil, I sometimes forget it. So I'll, I'll sometimes supplement 
the the oil with like a with like a like a hair butter that's not like a not like a cream not like a styler but it's just like a hair butter that has like a bunch of different oils in it i'll sometimes use that as my oil but i don't know i don't really see much of a difference with doing the lock method and with not doing the lock method and if i don't do the lock method it's typically i'll do a leave-in and a cream or a styler i always pretty much always use a leave-in. Like, that's my thing. I have to have it, some sort of leave-in conditioner, whether it be just a spray or whether it's a cream. The fourth curly girl rule that I don't follow is I don't detangle in sections. And even further than that, I don't detangle from the ends to the root. Here's the thing. I would like to remember to detangle from the ends to the root, but for some reason it just doesn't happen. Every now and then it will, but it just doesn't feel natural to me at the same time. So I end up not doing it, but I also don't detangle in sections because I feel like it takes up way too much time. And Shinofio will, will tell you that that is why I have a bunch of fairy knots. Fairy knots are basically just little knots in your hair that little fairies come and tie at night because they're so small on one strand of hair that only fairies have the capability of tying said knot. My hairstylist will tell you that they are caused by not detangling your hair when you are washing in sections. I typically detangle, like, I guess I kind of detangle in sections, but that's only because the brush is but so big. Typically, I will spread all my hair, like, just so the front will come in the front of my face, then it'll all kind of just cascade out, I guess, and I'll just brush and detangle going around 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 and that's it detangling in sections takes takes a lot of time that i i don't i don't want to have and i've tried it i've tried detangling in sections and i feel like it it doesn't make much of a difference it just takes longer if you detangle in sections, you know, more power to you. I respect you. Like, I bow down to you. I just can't do it. I don't have the patience. I just don't. Like, at all. So. So, the fifth rule that I don't follow. It's not like a, I don't follow it, but it's not like a, I do follow it either. I don't rinse out my deep conditioners in the allotted amount of time. And you may be saying to me, Kai, no one does that. Well, here's the thing. If a deep conditioner tells me to leave the deep conditioner in for 15 minutes, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do what I wanna do because that's what Kyla wants to do. And to take it even further, I am the queen of overnight deep conditions, which I definitely need to stop. You wanna know why I need to stop? My scalp gets so itchy, like to the point where I'm like, oh my God. It gets that itchy if I do an overnight deep condition and I read somewhere that the reason why my scalp is getting itchy is because I am sleeping with that moisture contained for a long time. But it's creating like something that is making my scalp itch. But did you know that if you do that too much, you can grow fungus on your scalp? 
Like I was completely freaked out when I heard that. I used to overnight, overnight deep condition three times a week. And for the longest time, I could not figure out why my scalp was itching so much. And I used this, um, one of my favorite deep conditioners, it's by Hollywood Beauty, I think. And it's the olive oil, um, it's the olive oil cholesterol uh, deep conditioner and it has avocado in it. And I have a very slight allergy to avocado and I thought it was that. No, it wasn't that at all, it wasn't the avocado. It was the fact that I was leaving it in overnight three times a week. Yeah, great for my hair that I was doing, that I was doing it three times a week. And I definitely think that deep conditioning those three times a week definitely helped my curls strengthen a lot, but it hurt my scalp terribly. Like it was itching so much all the time. Like even after my hair had dried from being styled, it just itched like hell. So I gotta stop doing that. But that has been a rule that I don't follow. I'm just a rebel like that. The sixth curly commandment that I do not follow is one that I wish I would follow more, but it's more of just the fact that I don't always have the time or the money to do it. And that is getting trims regularly. I want to be that person that gets a trim every six weeks. I do, but I, don't trust anyone aside from my mother and uh, my hairstylist with my hair or well and me of course but I don't even trust myself to really cut my own hair every now and then I'll do it if I have to but I try not to do it getting trims regularly is the biggest key to in my opinion to retaining length. My hair has been growing a lot lately and I'm really happy about that. I typically get my hair trimmed when I get it straightened or every now and then I'll get it trimmed while it's curly just like Chinofia Chin knows how to cut the curly ends. I typically get it when it's straightened though. And I went from July to February without a trim. When I saw how much Shinofia had to cut off, I was so hurt. She cut off two inches. If this is one inch right here, that's two inches. That is a lot when it comes to hair. Like, that's a lot. That's more so a lot when it comes to curly hair because you know, our hair shrinks. Uh, I was crushed, so crushed. But when I got my hair straightened again in April for my birthday, she didn't have to cut that much off. Like she did like a little light dusting and that was it. So that was kind of like eight weeks, maybe 10 weeks that I went without getting a trim. And then the next time from April to, I didn't get my hair straightened again until October. Luckily for me, she didn't have to, you know, trim off that much and I noticed my growth. But the thing with that is I had been kind of snipping at it myself here and there just cause I was like, well, I can't go get it done right now. So I'ma just, you know, take it upon myself. And luckily she didn't know. I'm telling on myself right now. But luckily she didn't know. We were all good. But like I said, get trims regularly. I'm gonna try and be better at it myself. And I need one. Cause I haven't had one since October. And it is January. So, yeah. So the last curly, girl rule that I don't follow is one that I just mentioned 
And there are a lot of curly girls that don't follow this rule that I know. And there are a lot of curlies that I follow that do follow this rule. Have not done this specific thing in a long time. And it is what I just said. Straightening my hair. I don't straighten my hair often. I typically have points throughout the year. So I typically always get my hair straightened around my birthday. Um, and the past couple of years, I've also gotten my hair straightened in February, but I don't know if that's going to be the case this year. I'll do it again sometime in the summer, but I didn't do it like that last year. I actually went from April to October without getting it uh, straightened. And then I'll typically do one like in the winter months before February. So like October-ish sometimes or, but it's typically only three to four times a year, no more than four. And I do not do it myself. Like I can't. One, because it doesn't come out how I want it. But two, because Ain't nobody got time for heat damage. And fortunately for me, whenever I get my hair straightened by Shinofia, I do not experience heat damage at all. I don't know what she does, but I call her my fairy hair mother because she be hooking it up. I don't see a problem with it if it's in moderation. I feel like if you are natural and then you're gonna straighten your hair all the time, it kind of, it kind of defeats the purpose because you're gonna get heat damage. I know so many girls that are like, that come to me and they're like, I wanna get my hair right. I wanna, you know, I want to have nice curly hair, but I have all of this heat damage. And I'm like, okay, so stop flat ironing your hair first, let it grow out essentially transition from heat damage to just fully natural and then just let it rock you know don't keep straightening it because it's not good but that's not to say that straightening and putting heat on your hair is the absolute worst thing to do no i need some versatility and unfortunately i do not wear weaves or wigs and i don't have the money to wear weaves or wigs and when i do have the money I put that money into other things like shoes or clothing, just things that I care about a lot more. But I like versatility, like I said, so I get my hair straightened. And that's apparently a curly girl no-no. So, yeah. So in short, those are all of the rules that I don't follow. If, if you guys want to know what I do do to my hair, just comment below. I will make a video of all of the things that I do do to my hair. Um, so you guys, you know, can know. Because I think there, there's a lot. I have a process. So I don't want to make this video longer than it already is. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you want to start a conversation about what you do with your hair down below, please do that. That is totally welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of those things. Turn on those notifications so that you can know when I post. I will see you guys in my next video, like always. Peace out, guys. <laughs>